The Jitex Global 20 Thank You Vibe. Uh, nice having you with us today. Thank you very much Thank you. for having me here. Thank you. Uh, let's start with a brief about your uh, presence at Jitex. What are you showcasing this year? I think like every year we love to be at Jitex. It's a wonderful place to uh, meet our uh, customers and partners and showcase our latest uh, solutions and technologies. Uh, this year our theme is Accelerate AI and uh, Artificial Intelligence and uh, we are more focusing on uh, two parts. One is that what kind of uh, I think what kind of AI, right AI transformation the industry needs, what is the direction industry should take. And when I say industry, uh, it means everything starting from uh, health sector, education, finance, uh, government, uh, smart cities or intelligent cities. And on the other hand, what is the right infrastructure uh, or right products and solutions uh, they need to do that. And in that area also, we have a lot of new products and solutions we are uh, showcasing uh, this year. And uh, you've mentioned AI and AI is the hot topic um, over the past couple of years Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Um, what sort of challenges and opportunities do you see uh, for AI in this region? I think from the opportunity perspective, it's, uh, it's a global tremendous opportunity for all of us. Uh, from individuals uh, to enterprises, uh, for, to the for the industry and for the governments and uh, globally as a humankind. It's a it's one hell of, a, I would say, a turning point or tipping point in our history. Uh, now, that is from the opportunity in terms of technology innovation, opportunity in terms of, uh, uh, I would say, economy. Uh, as I was reading some numbers that uh, maybe by till 2020, uh, if all the digital economy was around 12 to 13 trillion dollar, uh, by 2030, the AI, AI economy can be around uh, 24 to 30 trillion dollars. So that is the numbers we are looking at. Uh, so it's a tremendous opportunity. But of course, there are challenges. Uh, challenges around what is the right direction uh, we should take uh, in terms of AI. When I say right direction, means if I am an enterprise, what are the right use cases I need to invest into? I think this is one of the most important decision point which every CEO or CIO or uh, digital transformation uh, executives of organizations they are looking at and where the investment should actually go uh, and not to follow just the hype. Uh, second uh, part is that uh, to realize AI uh, you must have the right kind of data uh, tr data infrastructure there. Uh, uh, you need to have right kind of you don't need to have, you need to kill the silos in your organization you need to have converged uh, environment where every department is talking to each other, exchanging data. I think the challenge is there uh, that how to how to bring all of this together and build the right kind of uh, ecosystem also, uh, work the, with the right kind of partners, partners in terms of technology, in, term, in terms of AI transformation, ISVs, all these areas. Okay. Yeah. And uh, when we speak about AI, we also speak about sustainability, absolutely, uh, power consumption and all of that. So how do you ensure uh, sustainability in your projects? I think for, uh, for Huawei, since we are, uh, while we are building the uh, ICT infrastructure, we are helping organizations and governments, enterprises build data centers. Uh, and we are also, uh, so we have a very important role to do play here, uh, that we build uh, the ICT infrastructure which consumes less power. So either we are talking about our storage systems, we are talking about our network, or managing all this ICT infrastructure, we have the right kind of tools for the enterprises, uh, which help them uh, manage their infrastructure with least uh, of power consumption or uh, manage their power consumption, number one. Uh, number two, we help them build data centers which are greener, uh, which are consuming uh, less power because when we talk about AI clusters or when we are talking about uh, NPUs being deployed in data centers, we're definitely talking about high power consumption uh, data centers. Uh, so to build it, those data centers which can consume the least power right from uh, right from the infrastructure 
uh, to the every every single rack uh, clusters of data centers and managing them in the right way. So at every layer, Huawei is playing uh, its role, using even using data and AI to do it better. Uh, not doing it for AI, but using AI and data to make more sustainable uh, AI transformation. Okay. Yes. And how do you work with your partners uh, in terms of uh, the projects that you are involved in, um, making sure that they are also profitable in doing so? I think with, with this uh, ever-changing uh, ICT landscape, the most important thing what we uh, can do to our partners uh, in uh, managing their business and profitability is uh, providing them with the right kind of technology, uh, the latest technology which our customers or their customers need at the end of the day uh, and uh, releasing these products at the right time, uh, providing them with the right kind of support uh, and enablement uh, so they can deploy these products and solutions with our customers. Uh, in the in in the most expert way uh, they can uh, and uh, help it, not only that help guiding them in uh, providing the right kind of digital transformation strategy uh, to our customers uh, like i said that uh, when they go to the they go to their customers and uh, customers today demand uh, that what kind of uh, ai use cases or digital transformation direction we should take so we enable our partners and provide them also with the right kind of ecosystem so they can drive this whole AI transformation in the right way. I think when we do all of this together, it ensures better profitability uh, for our partners. Okay. And what sort of innovations can we look forward to from Huawei going forward? I, as you know that Huawei is uh, one of the top uh, companies in the world when it comes to uh, R&D investment. Uh, last year alone, uh, we invested uh, more than 24 billion dollars into R&D, and in the last 10 years, 10 years it has been more than 170 billion dollars, and 50 percent plus of our workforce is actually invested in research and development. Uh, so you can expect a lot of innovation coming from our side. Uh, now it would be difficult for me to comprehend it very quickly, but if you're talking about networks, for example, uh, we are we are showcasing our latest Wi-Fi 7 solutions with features of Wi-Fi 8 even, some features of Wi-Fi 8 already uh, introduced in Wi-Fi 7 like CSI, channel state information, where a Wi-Fi AP is not only providing you with data, but also can do some sensing uh, in a room or wherever it is deployed. When we are talking about our data storage uh, solutions, uh, we are talking about uh, the fastest storage in the industry and providing maybe four petabyte in least of space to you, again, uh, more sustainable, consuming less space, consuming less uh, power. Uh, we are talking about uh, ransomware protection uh, solutions, uh, securing your data. And we are pro uh, talking about uh, data centers which have uh, less footprint, which are consuming less power and which are managing cooling and power in the smartest way using big data and AI. Uh, so that is from uh, data storage, data transmission, uh, uh, and uh, data center deployment. So all the layers, optical solutions which are greener, which are uh, not, uh, which are consuming less power. So every single layer of technology, uh, we are trying to make it more sustainable. We are trying to bring innovation uh, to our customers and our partners, of course. Uh, thank you for speaking to us. Nice having you with us today. Uh, most welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you.